Ablation is superior to uh, surgical resection in cases of advanced reverse losses. There are no differences between a surgical resection and ablation in terms of overall survival and recurrence-free survival. But the invasivity is much less in ablation therapy compared with surgical resection. I believe that ultrasound system plays an important role for this ablation treatment. Pre-treatment, we scan the target region with ultrasound to confirm the insertion route. Liver tumor ablation is mainly performed under ultrasound guidance because ultrasound has many advantages. It has an excellent real-time performance, high resolution, and lack of radiation exposure. I used to use CT guidance in some cases before, but now I perform 100% of my ablation under ultrasound guidance. I have been using Canon Zapio series for over 20 years. The first reason is the high image quality. Ablation becomes difficult if regions, vessels, and other structures are not clearly visible. However, with the Aprio I series, the flagship model is equipped with iBeam Plus, which provides more detailed and deeper images. This allows far field observation even in obese cases. Another reason is that excellent dedicated puncture probe. I have jointly developed a dedicated puncture probe with Canon. It is important that the probe must visualize the regions and the inner structures around the liver clearly. The PVI 450BXP is equipped with advanced technologies such as single crystal and IDMS. Second is the shape. This probe has the same R as a convex probe used in routine ultrasound examinations. This allows for ultrasound images similar to those obtained in outpatient and planning ultrasound examinations. It is clear that the image quality of the convex is superior to that of microconvex. Even in region just below the diaphragm can be visualized and punctured with the convex. Provided that knowledge of positioning, the puncture hole is located on the inside of the probe so that the ultrasound image can be observed from the point where the needle or electrode is inserted into the body. This allows confirmation that there are no ribs or intestines in the puncture path. Another feature of the probe is that it has a selectable puncture angle of 100 degrees, in addition to 55, 70, and 85 degrees. 100 degrees allow the user to select a puncture angle without reserving the probe handles, even if the user wants to puncture from left to right on the screen. This is useful for puncturing and tumor ablation on the liver surface from the left to right side for selecting a puncture route that avoids vessels. The last important point is sterilizing procedure. Because with this transducer, we only need to replace the transducer cover between patients. It means if you do multiple patients, there is no need to purchase multiple transducers. In fact, our institution used to have more than a dozen probes, but now we only need three probes. This is efficient and cost-effective. It is a technology that fusions the images acquired by ultrasound and CT or MRI by using a positioning information 
through the magnetic sensor attached to the ultrasound probe. By displaying the two kinds of images side by side, it allowed the fine observation. When detecting the image of the region by ultrasound acquired from CT, the region cannot be displayed or misunderstand that the different nodules are regions due to the capability of the examiner. However, this can be avoided by using fusion imaging. In the early stage of the fusion, the technology was operator-dependent because the alignment of images from CT or MRI and ultrasound was done manually. However, the current method is the semi-automatic alignment using AI, which is more accurate and faster. Such advancement in technology support ablation therapy, while skills and knowledge are also important. I strongly feel that Apilio i series has high image quality, dedicated puncture probe, fusion imaging, and all things that is necessary for this therapy. I would highly recommend Apilio i series to doctors involved in ablation treatment.